spreading to humans. A vicious visitor has neighbors concerned in Madison tonight. A family spotted a fisher cat in their front yard and now they're warning people to protect their pets. New Haven Bureau reporter Josh Chapin has our story. There's a fisher cat. There's a fisher cat. Not a UFO, not a Sasquatch. It was neither of those things in Michael Cuspa's front lawn. But I noticed this uh, big, kind of looks like a weasel crossed with a wolverine, but uh, I knew it was a fisher cat. And he had his camera rolling to capture this vicious animal just feet from his home. And I just saw it walking in her front yard. After the fisher cat made its way under their car, it ran off into these woods, started digging for something, and then bolted into their neighbor's property. Usually they're not even seen um, by people that are out in the wildlife hiking. That even to find their tracks is something um, unique. Unique for this New Haven science teacher to see, but also worrisome because of their hunting habits. Consume people's pets. Um, possibly attack a small child. I think that's highly unlikely. The Department of Environmental and Energy Protection says these fisher cats are everywhere. They're part of the weasel family, and because they tend to travel in open areas and be nocturnal, they're rarely seen by humans until Cuspa took the video this morning. And just as startling are their fierce shrieks like you hear in this YouTube video. DEP urges people not to leave small pets outside unattended, because even if a fisher cat doesn't get them, a coyote might. While Cuspa knows there's not much officials can do, he wants the public to know, as his two girls, Alexis and Nicole, and two Labradors run in the front yard. For their safety, so I took the video of it. In Madison, I'm Josh Chapin, NBC Connecticut News. Glad he did. The DEP also tells Josh it's unlikely fisher cats will bother humans. They do recommend removing any food sources, such as garbage cans, from your property. All right, the weekend's here.